I'm here at the Royal Northern College of Music where we're using their fantastic theatre to put on one of our mass inspiration shows. I'm joined by my mathematical friends Rob Easterway, Kay Stuckles and Hugh Hunt. This is the second video where I'm once again going to challenge one of them to show me the best bit of mathematics they can fit on a single postcard. Okay, Rob is now doing his part of the show, which means I can go backstage, find Hugh, and do some maths. I'm now backstage with Hugh, while Rob is out there doing something with the young people, and you were showing them some mechanics, uh, so what are you going to show me? Riding the wall of death, right. Guy Martin wanted to ride around a vertical This wall. is one of the things you showed the students. Oh, yes, you one. had a little video from, what channel was it on? It was on Channel 4. Channel 4 did a video of Guy Martin something, he's a motorbike guy. Yeah. Riding around a wall of death. And he wanted to ride at 100 miles an hour. Now, a typical wall of death, right? it's about a four meter diameter circle. The ones you've seen, fairground rides yeah, okay, at yeah. fairgrounds. And uh, they ride at about 25 miles an hour. So he came to you and said, I want to do that yeah, 100 miles so, an hour. Yeah, I really, uh, I'll be able to do 100 miles an hour. Basically, Guy Martin says I can do it. But what's beautiful is that he does believe in the maths. And so he will say, if I had been, if I had my time over again, I, I wouldn't have fallen asleep in maths lessons. I would have maths. paid attention. But now because he's now I realise it's so important. And I know that it's right. Now, what's interesting is, that if you think about your speed, and you yeah. might me measure speed in meters per second. Yep, I do. And you might measure the radius of a circle. Yes. In meters. Meters, good. Yep. And the, the g-force you experience, that's the, the acceleration you experience. So at the moment, you're standing right. here, you experience a one g. A single g. And g, the g-force, we measure that in meters per second square. So normally we have g from gravity straight down, but you're using it in a more general, just acceleration, pressing yeah. you against something. So if you had, if you felt twice as heavy, four times two as heavy, g's. two four g's, four g's, right. go, go, go. So, but that, we know what the units... The units are meters per second, yeah. okay. squared. Now the only way we can combine these things, if I call this speed, let's call that v, the radius r, yep. and we've got g, the only way we can combine these things so that the units cancel out is like this. How'd you work that out? Well, because V squared gives me seconds squared, and that's what I need over here. So you've looked at these units and gone, I don't know what the equation is, right. but if this is meters per second squared, the only way I can get those seconds units. Seconds squared is by squaring. From these, I've got to square that. that. And then uh, I've got one too, I've many got one too many M's. So I've got to divide by R. And this means I've so got So you just derived that then from the units? Yeah. That's amazing. But it, it, there, there could be a coefficient at the front that we don't there know could about. Be, yeah, it could be a co co coefficient. So it could be pi. It could be 7. Right. Um, so interesting, for instance, you might take um, the period of a pendulum. Right. Is root L over G. 2 pi. It's a 2 pi. 2 pi. Okay. Yeah. So you how do you know? You never know. You never know. But never at know. least you know that the period of a pendulum is independent of mass. Got because it. Right. So here. So you know... Some multiple at the front, but it's constant. Yeah. It only depends on the velocity squared over the right. radius. Yeah. So now Guy wants to go around a circle at, uh, normally you do 25 miles an hour, he wants yep. to do 100. So this four times faster, 16 times. So assuming the g-forces are, say, roughly the same, we have to build a circle which is 16 times bigger. So you're saying at a normal wall of death, what would this radius be? This is like about two meters. Two meters, two yeah. meters right, right, right. right. Yeah. And how fast do people go when they do that? 25 miles an hour. 25 miles an hour. And you're assuming that's just a kind of a safe level yeah, of well, G. Yeah, well, because people... Because they would go faster otherwise. Well, they try to go faster, but they find that they pass They out. run out of blood and in their yeah, head. The blood, yeah, the blood and the... Um, their eyeballs, the, you know, the, the eyes start to distort. Uh, no matter how you end that sentence, it's not a good thing. The moment you say, yeah, and the eyeballs, I'm like, I'm out. And the bladder. And the bladder. See, all these things, right? So you're assuming that's kind of a, a by experiment, yeah, upper, upper threshold on speed. And, um, so we want to go from 25 miles an hour to 100 miles an hour. Yeah, and so uh, the idea that Guy Martin could just do it on the little wall, is, it's silly it's because he's going to have the g forces will be 16 times. 16 times. Okay. So we've got to make the radius 16 times. To compensate. Bigger. 
Oh, okay. And how do you do that? Well, that's a big build. Yeah. Okay. It's like it's 32 meters. It'll cost a million pounds to build. But uh, it's just too. And you need it'll to be build like, like it'll be like 200 meters around. Yeah, around this way. Yeah. And then it's like 60 whatever meters. Yeah, yeah. Across. So, and it's um. That's doable. And but you've got to do it indoors because it's really important that it doesn't get wet. Ah, right. So okay. if it rains, then and it's too slippery. Channel Four weren't going to fund that. Well, where are you going to find a place that's indoors? Yeah, Millennium oh, okay, yeah. Dome yeah. or something. Yeah. Um, but uh, so we found summer indoors, a disused hangar, a sort of World War II yeah. hangar. Um, but we could only fit a 40 metre wall in there. All right. So that's interesting. 40 metres diameter. diameter instead of 4 20. metres diameter. Right, okay, so 10, ten times. times bigger radius. Yep. So the speed can be roughly square root, square root of, that, of about 10. About pi. That pi, that's yeah. right. So three or and three, a bit times. Three, yeah. uh, and what speed did he manage? 80 miles an hour. It's kind it's pretty of... Pretty much, pretty much. So exactly. he pushed it slightly, but not... So he did... He achieved what we would expect to achieve from the maths. And what I think is great about this is that we can derive this equation, which you know, kids at school do for their mechanics, yep. their A-levels. Because you were showing these exact equations to the students. Yeah, but you can derive it. Just by looking knowing at the, the units dimension. and a little bit of logic. The units. That's so good. And what I love is when Guy came to you and said, I got this crazy idea, you probably pretty much did this level of working out. Yeah, that's it. And this is it. And that, that's all you need. So, so, what, so what, 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 I, what I think that Guy uh, realized was that he, deep down, he is not a particularly special human being. He right. has eyeballs and bladders and, bladders and, and things he things likes to keep like where they anybody are. else. Right? And so he said, yeah, okay. 80 miles an hour, that's it. Cool. Well, it's important that Guy looks after his bladder and yep. his eyeballs and things, but the bike, we've got to make sure that the tyres don't okay, so burst. Okay, so the bike is under the same G-force, you be careful, yeah, yeah. right. But so it's all here, basically. So, so if anyone does want to do a wall of death on a motorbike, that's all the maths, that's all the working out you've got to do. Just double, do one postcard's worth of working out and then get on your motorbike. So that is one postcard's worth of mathematics. If you want to see the other two postcards worth of maths, you can check out the other two videos in the series. And if you are a teacher, we do these maths inspiration shows all around the UK. They're great fun. We have different speakers every time and we thoroughly enjoy exciting your students with mathematics. And so they go back to the classroom, hopefully more eager to learn. You can check out more information on it at mathsinspiration.com. It'll be great to see you at one of these.